Hello everyone! How is everyone doing today? I look weird today in the scope. This is weird. Okay guys, so today I am live on Periscope and on Facebook Live. So in order to catch me, please go to my... Yes, make sure you go to my fan page to get me on Facebook Live. Um, thank you. Hey, Carla. Tiffany, how is everyone doing today? Okay. So guys, today I want to share with you something that might be holding you back. And this is a question you got to ask yourself because I noticed how this was holding me back in my business. And also I noticed this was holding a lot of my clients back. And when, when, we were, when we were able to pinpoint this and really clear it and like move forward from it, I was noticing how many of my clients were shifting and all of it, so it's really exciting. So make sure you, make sure you stay so you can hear about it. And before I get into the content, um, make sure guys, if you're joining me on Facebook Live or on Periscope, that you share this Periscope and Facebook. Um, let's see, make sure you share it, share it with your friends, with, with everyone, as well as you can so everyone can get the awesome insights that we'll be sharing as well i will also be taking your questions so if you have any questions as well make sure you you ask me so we can respond to that so is this holding you back so i have a question for you and i want you to answer this question if you feel this is holding you back so is this holding you back guys is asking is not asking for help holding you back you know when i started my business i noticed i felt i knew it all you know i felt i felt scared asking for help i felt anxious asking for help and you know when i was growing up i noticed at least for me whenever i asked for help i used to get scolded or why are you asking that you should be knowing that like all these things right so i share this with you because i noticed that 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 literally got got ingrained in my business you know when i started my business i felt like i could do it all on my own i didn't know one i didn't i didn't need anyone to help me and sometimes i can still see this right um yay yes daniel hello exactly exactly so if you feel that you are you're starting your business you're making money all of it and you you feel stuck and you feel like you don't know what to do you don't know what the next step is you feel blocked you have no idea i highly encourage you to ask for help you know when you start asking for help when you heal this you know whatever trauma that comes back comes from and you heal this and you move forward like you're gonna see things open up you're gonna start reaching out to people to mentors to your coach to people who can actually support you in what it is that you want to achieve you know again when i started my business i was scared to ask for help you know things were going on with me and i didn't know how to I don't know how to solve it. I don't know what to do. And I was stuck for a while. And I see a lot of people getting stuck for a while. And, and you know, why get stuck for a while if you can reach out, ask for help, you know, help someone help you, right? Go through whatever you're going through so you don't have to stay stuck, right? For me, after this scope, yes? Well, Tiffany, definitely. I'm going to be looking forward to your pride message because it's like and you know actually recently in in my money flow mastery group my group program money flow mastery with the girls in the program i noticed that interestingly enough right even though i had worked this block on my own i noticed that this was something that was going on in the group like people were some of my clients were scared to to message me or ask for help and we're staying quiet and i noticed that when you're quiet you're not saying what's really going on and you feel you can handle on, handle it all on your own you can spiral downwards it's so easy guys to spiral spiral downwards and feel like nobody's caring for you you're all alone poor you and this negative thought this victim victim mentality like me and you start creating all these excuses and reasons why you're going through what you're going the challenge you're going through and how it will never work out for you and you create this drama in your mind which if you say stuff you create the drama but if you say like stop it i'm gonna look for help i'm gonna ask for help i'm gonna reach out i'm gonna do something about this you 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 don't spend time creating the drama rather you take that energy and time and instead of creating the drama you go and you ask for help you do the actions you take you do what you need to take right you do what you need to do in order to shift that um so is this resonating with you guys is this something that you feel um is going on for you and if so i would love to hear from you if you're on facebook live or on the periscope share with me um and you know in the money for mastery group again in my group coaching program we did i did a special video where we we started helping them clear their blocks especially this one of of 
asking for help, right? And I noticed that for many, many, um, the ones who've done it, right, because almost all of them have already done it, they start asking more for help. They started reaching out. They started holding each other more accountable. And just today, I was noticing in the group, like many people were sharing some wins where they were scared of sharing wins before. And and it was it's so beautiful to see, right? Sometimes this small little thing of not asking for help can really hold us back. And again, I saw this in my life, how it was holding me back. I'm seeing how it's shifting for my clients right now, right? They're shifting and they're reaching out. They're making it work. They're problem solving. They're they're finding a solution instead of staying stuck and being, I'm a victim. Poor me, Sharina. Oh my God, you don't understand. It's because this doesn't work. My mom, you don't understand. My mom, it's because of her. And it's like... I don't care what's going on. We can stay stuck in the story and create all the reasons and the, and the story around it, but let's move forward, right? Let's move forward. So if you're here watching this, you know, ask yourself, are you um, holding yourself back and not asking for help? Are you looking and desiring help and, and, and stopping it and blocking it and not giving yourself the opportunity to, to ask for it, right? If so, do something about it. Guys, do something about it, right? Do, do some clearing about it. You know, with, with the group, again, with my, my, my group coaching program, we do these videos and these webinars where we help them clear energy. And one of the things we were doing was helping them clear the energy around it, wherever that was created, that, that trauma, that fear around asking for help. But start doing something like that, right? Or, and start moving forward, like start. I'm sure you have someone in your circle, in your network, who you could reach out to and ask for help, right? All of us do, but yet we, we, we feel we shouldn't, we feel we're not worthy, and that's a big one I've noticed, at least for me, right? And I see, again, I see the same thing in my clients, the things that I went through, but like, not feeling worthy of asking for help. That was my story, I felt like, who am I to ask for help? Like, poor me, no, I'm not worth it. You know, I'm not worth the private coach, I'm not worth the time of my coach, I'm not worth Worth reaching out and getting support but you know what I've noticed people who are successful people who have results people who are who have gone through their challenges and problems and whatever they want to help you know and when you start realizing that that your coach your mentor whoever you follow or whatever it is right whoever you look upon actually wants to help you people actually want to help think about you and your journey right if you're a coach or a service provider wouldn't you want to help people around you right if you were able to wouldn't you want to help people and it's the same with this like you feeling um, yeah, you're feeling blocked around not asking. But guess what? People want to ask for help, right? People want to. Right, Tiffany? Oh, God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad this is resonating, guys. And I want to hear from you. Is this resonating? If so, share with me why. And if so, why not? Is this something you feel is holding you back and you want to work on? And if so, you know, I ask you to be brave and, 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 and comment and post because sometimes being vulnerable, right? Vulnerability um, is your strength. You know, again, yesterday, I think it was one of the girls in my Money Flow Mastery program did this Facebook Live, this video, and I was so touched seeing that video because she was being so open been so vulnerable and I was like wow I am connecting so deeply with this woman right I can just imagine if she's more vulnerable open like that the woman she can connect with and sometimes you feel like all our vulnerability our weakness or whatever is our weakness right we feel like where we're stuck is our weakness but no it's actually our it's gonna be our strength if we if we push past it we ask for help we, we move through it it's gonna be something that's gonna help us right Super important, super important, and it's so, it's so powerful, honestly, guys, and very eye-opening. At least for me, when I when I realized this for me, right, I realized that I had this and felt not worth. It's also, guys, making a decision, right, that you are worthy for help. You you are worthy asking for help. You are worthy, and that's the biggest thing, right? Um, Giselle, sometimes we think our business or LOB is so small it doesn't have more room to grow or that the market is full and it's difficult to re reinvent or value proposal. Yeah, there's so many things right, that can go on in our minds, but go forward, right? Go forward, ask for help, do it. Guys, don't be scared. Don't stay stuck. If you're feeling stuck, challenged, Guess what? Everyone has that. You know, I have a group of people who I know when I get go through stuff, a challenge, where I know who I can go to ask help for, you know? And I built the circuit. I built like this, my, you could say my accountability group, my, my council, you could say that whenever I feel that way, I know who I can ask questions. Hey, I'm feeling triggered. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling stressed. What should I do? I'm feeling this. 
And it's so powerful to have that. You know, sometimes for a woman at least, to even just say it out loud can be such a relief, you know? So don't make yourself wrong. You are worthy. And, and let this be the message of today for you. If you're here listening to this or the replay of this, you are so worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. And let's make this fun, guys. I want you to put in the comments if you're watching this, even if you're watching the replay and in Scope and in Facebook Live, I want you to put in the comment, I am worthy. I am worthy. Sometimes just putting it, declaring it, saying it out loud, saying it in your mind, writing it, typing it, in the, taking that moment and typing it makes a big difference. So I want to see you guys say, I am worthy. I want to see the comments, guys. And, 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 and maybe you're feeling uh, triggered around writing that or you're feeling um, res uh, resistant, resisting doing that. Write it, write it, type it. I am worthy. You declaring it, right? Say, say it out loud, guys. Awesome, Tiffany, great. Who else? Who else? Like, start declaring because you are worthy. You're, you're worthy of everything, you know? Again, ask for help. If you're feeling stuck, and that's like the main message of today, the scope that I'm doing today, because if, if this is whole, this could be a big thing that could hold you back. Ask for help. Go forward. Don't stay stuck. Because if you stay stuck, like, oh, I don't know, I'm stuck on what to do, and you're asking, it's like, of course you're going to stay stuck. You know what I mean? So, Agarwal, I am worthy. Giselle, you're worthy. Of course, you all are so very worthy. Awesome, beautiful. Who else wants to share? So, yeah, guys, any questions for me? Do you guys have any questions around this? If so, make sure you comment it or write it down. If not, again, I'm going to summarize this, this video. What can be holding you back? Is this holding you back? Is not asking for help holding you back? And if so, stop it. Clear that and ask for help. Reach out to people who you feel could help you, who are, who are maybe, you know, doing something that you want to do and achieve. Ask for help, because guess what? People actually want to help. We, especially for women, I think we have this thing in our in our energy that we want to help people. We, we, we are designed, we are ingrained, we are programmed to want to help. So get out there and ask for it, right? Don't be shy, don't be scared, don't be resistant, because guess what? You will feel very, very resistant no problem go for it right karina i am worthy awesome of course you are each and every one of you are so worthy so beautiful guys it's been such a great time to be here with you today i will be back again tomorrow make sure if you are not part of my facebook page you like it so you can get the notifications when i do my my facebook lives and on periscope as well do know that i'm doing facebook lives as well follow me sharina mayani my fan page and you will be able to see that so Awesome, guys. Enjoyed doing this. Lots of love to each and every one of you. And I will be speaking to you guys soon. Bye.